Hi everybody, welcome to Now What with Brit and Sean. I'm Sean. And I'm Brit. On our channel for grades K to 6, we learn new things and have some fun. Oh! What's wrong, Sean? It's a spider. I hate spiders. They're so scary and dangerous. Well, you're not alone in feeling that way. A lot of people are arachnophobic. Arachnophobia what? Arachnophobic. It means having an intense fear of spiders. But truthfully, there's not a lot for humans to be afraid of. Most spiders are actually totally harmless to people. In fact, in most cases, a spider's venom is only harmful to insects. Spiders use their venom to paralyze their prey and break down their prey's body tissue so they can digest them more easily. This may seem harsh, but it's how they survive. Spiders are actually good for the ecosystem. They help control the number of insects on the planet. That includes pests that eat our crops and insects that carry diseases. Without spiders, we may not have enough food to eat and certain diseases could spread faster and harm more people. Wow, I didn't realize spiders were so important to the planet. I'm still afraid of them, but I do respect them. They seem like a pretty important insect. They are important, but just so you know, they're not an insect. They're not? What are they then? Spiders are part of the arachnid family. Other arachnids include scorpions, mites, and ticks. Unlike insects, which have six legs, spiders have eight legs. Also, insects have antenna and spiders don't. An insect's body is also made up of three sections, where a spider's body is made up of two. The cephalothorax in front, where the legs are attached, and the abdomen behind. Although spiders and insects are different, they do share some things in common. They're both part of a group of animals called arthropods. Crustaceans, like lobsters, crabs, and shrimp, are also part of this group. Spiders, insects, and crustaceans all have a hard skeleton on the outside of their body called an exoskeleton, and their bodies are segmented. There are around 40,000 different species of spiders, and spiders live all around the world. Wow, all over the world? Can we see some of these places? I just want to make sure I know where never to go in the future. Sure. Hey Britt, this looks like a regular old house. That's right. Some spiders, like Daddy Longlegs or the American House Spider, live in our homes. The good thing about having a spider in your home is they'll take care of other pests that you don't want, like flies or cockroaches. Hmm, that's interesting. Where are we going to go next? Ooh, this place is pretty. Are you sure spiders live here? Yep. Spiders are actually a big help in gardens. Some spiders, like the wolf spider, hunt mites, beetles, and other pests that can ruin gardens. Others, like yellow garden spiders, build webs to trap landscape pests and flying insects. What are we doing here? I thought spiders only live on land. Most do, but some spend time in the water too. Dock spiders can typically be found on docks because it's their best hunting ground. They're actually pretty amazing. They're fast swimmers, they can survive underwater for up to 30 minutes, and they can even walk on water. Like this? Uh, uh, Dog spiders, not people, Sean. Wow, look, curtains. Someone must live here. Not someone, something. This is a spider cave spider web. Most spiders make silk, which they use to build their webs. It's so soft. Why do they make them anyways? To catch their prey. Cool. What's prey again? Their meal. Oh, and I'm stuck now. Ah, oh, here comes a spider. Help! Help! Oh. Oh. So I guess I'm still pretty scared of spiders, but they are kind of cool. I have an idea. I'm going to make a spider I'm not afraid of. But how? I'll show you. For this activity, you're going to need some black construction paper or poster board, a piece of white paper, 
a straw, some tape. Make sure that the tape is strong, so I wouldn't recommend using scotch tape. I'm going to actually use some duct tape. I'm also going to be able to use the duct tape to make our circles for our spider. Some scissors, a pencil, a black marker, string, and also some glue. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our spider's cephalothorax and its abdomen. And if you remember, the cephalothorax is where the spider's legs attach and the abdomen is the larger part at the back end of the spider. So in order to make these body parts, we're going to use this tape. And the good thing about uh, this roll of duct tape, we have a larger circle on the outside and a smaller circle on the inside. And we're going to cut out our body parts using our scissors. We also want to make sure that when we're cutting out the body parts, we want to make sure that we save some of the trim on the side. This is why I like this activity is that we don't waste any paper. So we're going to save, make sure that we don't cut all this up into small pieces because we're going to use the sides of the paper to make our legs for our spider. So now that we have our cephalothorax and also our abdomen, we'll place them over to the side and we're going to use our leftover scraps of black paper to make legs. And we know that, which we learned from our lesson, was that spiders have eight legs. Now an easy way to do this is I'm going to fold this in half. And then I'm going to cut four strips. each side of the paper. And now we're going to cut out our eyes because we want our spider to have some eyes. And we're going to use the white piece of paper for that. So I'm going to show you a cool trick. If you don't have a circle to trace, I'm going to show you how, an easy way to make a circle. So we're going to take our piece of paper, we're going to fold it in half, we're going to cut kind of in a shape of a C, like a half circle. And then we'll get some eyes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put all of our spider's body parts together. So I'm going to use the glue. And we're just going to put a little bit of glue on this side. Not the whole thing, because we want it to be kind of sticking out. And he's got a huge abdomen. We're going to stick our eyes on. Like I said, my eyes are all weird and different, and that's okay, they don't have to be perfect. I think it's more interesting if it isn't. And when we attach the legs, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the legs in half, so they're kind of arched a bit. If you notice, it's almost like the spider has joints in his legs. And we're going to flip it over, and we're going to glue them on the other side. And we got to remember, when we're doing this, we got to remember to glue the legs onto the cephalothorax, which is the smaller part of your spider.
Okay, now that we have our spider's legs attached to his cephalothorax, so remember we have the abdomen, the cephalothorax, eight legs, we're gonna turn our spider over, and we're gonna draw some eyes. So we have the big white spots here. Now, usually spiders have eight eyes, but I think I'm gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna decide that my spider is going to just have two eyes. But you can put as many eyes as you would like. But just so you know, most spiders have eight. So there's gonna be my spider eyes. And that looks like a spider to me. What we're gonna do now is we're going to help our spider by enabling him to climb up his web and up walls. So we're gonna turn this guy over. And what we're gonna do is we're going to attach a couple pieces of straw here. So I'm using a paper straw because it's friendlier for the environment. And we're just gonna cut a couple of pieces of straw. So we do need two pieces. And to make sure they're the same size, we can line them up. And we have our two pieces of straw. Now what we're gonna do with these straws is we're going to attach them to our spider and then we're going to thread some string through the straws so that way we can pull our spider up and down the wall. So we're going to take our duct tape. This is why we're using duct tape. Duct tape is super strong because if we use scotch tape on these straws, what might happen is the tape might lose its stickiness, it might fall off, and then our spider won't be able to climb the wall. And because we're going to be pulling on the spider, we have to make sure that this is nice and strong. So I'm going to rip off a piece of duct tape. You can get uh, a parent to help you if you're having difficulty. And I'm going to make sure that I put enough duct tape on the back, just so that way it sticks. And I want to make sure that when I'm putting the duct tape, though, I don't put it too far over the legs so we see it on the other side. So that looks really, really sturdy. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. And then we're gonna take our second one and we're gonna do the exact same thing. And there we go. We wanna make sure they don't move, nice and sturdy. Next up is we're going to take some string. And how much string do you need? Well, it depends on how high you want your spider to climb the wall. Because what we're gonna do is we're going to thread the string through these straws. So we're actually going to take string and we're going to double it up like this. And you can make it super long if you want, it's up to you. But you have to make sure that you have one end that is like a loop. And that, that's the end we're actually going to hang onto the wall. You can use a hook, you can use some tape, a thumbtack, and that's going to hang on to the wall while we pull the spider up. Okay, now we got our string. We're going to thread our string through the straw. go and we put the other string through the other side of the straw and then there you go you can get it through okay and we're gonna pull it all the way through and you see how there's a loop there that's where we're going to hang it on the wall. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's even. Then we're going to put tape on the end, kind of like handles. So we're just going to rip off a piece of tape and we're going to stick the string right in the middle. And we're just going to fold it just like that. We'll test right now, let's see, is the string gonna be able to go through? Nope, it doesn't go through, that's perfect. So that's what we want. Okay, so these are gonna be our handles. And there's our spider. And now let's go see how it works. Okay, now let's try our spider out. So we have our spider and we have a hook on the wall. So we're kind of lucky we can just put our loop on the hook. But if you don't, it's okay, you can always just use tape. So we're gonna hang our piece of string there, make sure that your spider's legs are not tangled. And remember, if you turn over in the back, remember we have two handles or two toggles that we made. And so what we're going to do is we're going to grab one with each hand, 
and we're just going to pull our handles to the side. And look, our spider climbs the wall. And they go back down, and they can go up. And if you want to make it even more interesting, you can put a piece of art on the wall. Maybe draw a spider web. And in that way, your spider is crawling onto his spider web. Now what? If you want to learn more about spiders, check out the video description below for links to more resources. And if you had fun with us today, remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can have more fun together. See you next time! time.